This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. What the heck? I get this powertrain error again. Just like in that uh, 1000 km challenge attempt. Oh shit! Turtle mode is here! Whoa, 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 what the heck is that? Remaining power! Shit, 50 kilo! It was, it was at 10 kilo! Oh sh I'm struggling to climb the hill here! We're still 12 kilometers away! We, we, we still have 8% left! What? Huh? Man, seriously, we are going up a hill now. L look at this, look at this. Look at the power limit. <sighs> 7 kilowatt power limit? Whoa, 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 whoa. I have no heater. It seems to be on, but I have no heater. Uh, this, is, this is the last hill, one of the last hills. Look at the power limit. What? Come on, come on, okay, okay, okay. Okay, don't, just don't die, don't die. Come on, don't die. I, I, I can't die over here, man. We are seven kilometers away. Yo, what's up? We are now at Soko K Furuset, and behind me here you see Neo ET7. And it is freaking cold outside. Yes, we're gonna do it. We will go to Folldal. <clears throat> I think it's been two years since last time. Yeah. But it's going to be freaking cold over there. Also, supposedly minus 25, that's the best I can do. I couldn't find minus 30 or whatever then. Yeah, we are going actually quite far just to get there. I mean, just to get uh, really cold weather. Uh, so yeah, I'm now topping up here. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let me show you guys inside now. What does it look like? Well, okay, see here first. In the back, I just brought a little bit of equipment. Wait, we finished. Charging is done, D-O-N, okay. Unplug. 99% interesting not sure why it didn't go to 100% well actually well it reports <laughs> it reports 505 kilometers every time all right so yes the plan is to go see if we can reach Alvdal at least so you see now when we navigate the car estimates we will arrive with 65 kilometers of range left really okay yeah well let's see then let's see then so outside we have minus 8 degrees celsius Ooh. But uh, you know what, I will have it nice and comfy in the cabin here, see? Uh, we have 21 degrees Celsius. The whole philosophy is that we're gonna have it nice and comfy in here, like in the sofa, in the living room, yeah. And also, yeah, we have massage, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Okay, anyway, let's go. We are now at Elverum and uh, over here is minus 17 degrees Celsius. Oof. That is, uh, well, it's getting somewhere, minus 17, yeah. So, so far I spent 37.1 kilowatt hour to get here. Well, it doesn't show me watt hour per kilometer or even kilowatt hour per hundred kilometers. I don't know exactly how much that is. Well, uh, the past hundred kilometers, I spent 280. So actually, I think this car uh, is not that thirsty. So let me see here. Uh, What's the distance? 130 kilometers. Yeah. So sh I think that should be around 280 something. What type of kilometer? But you know, it's nice and warm. Actually, it's almost too hot. I have I have it set to 19 degrees Celsius, and I'm like, like the footwell are so hot. You know, it's like the. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I set the uh, cruise control. Yeah. Okay, so the 
footwell is super hot, like the like classic Model 3. It, it is as if the Chinese people copied the, the flaw with the Model 3. <laughs> so, I uh, might have to lower to, okay, let's let's go 18.5 degrees. This is crazy, man. Normally, with Chinese cars, I have to go higher. I have to go like 25, 28 degrees Celsius, but uh, not today, son. Not today. So, uh, yeah, uh, quite empty road, but, ooh. And yeah, now we're cooking, minus 18 degrees Celsius. getting close to Alvdal now so over here it's a minus 22 degrees Celsius oh yeah so it's getting colder and colder you see we have 80 kilometers of range left and then uh, 36 kilometers to go so um, yeah I figured that uh, maybe it's time to start the preheating so you see I activated the, the battery heat and actually if you activate the battery heat you'll see up here there's an icon here that appears so yeah, so uh, I've seen that it pulls around 2, 2.5 kilowatt. So hopefully we'll get a uh, good charging speed uh, once we arrive in uh, Alvdal. And, and there is this constant chill from the windows, cold chill. So I had to put my Stormberg jacket over my lap here to get okay comfort. Because uh, it was it's feeling quite cold all over the hair. So yeah, even with the uh, heat blasting on here, then yeah, well now at least now it's okay. But without the jacket, then it was cold. What the heck? I get this powertrain error again, just like in that uh, 1,000 kilometer challenge attempt. Um, yeah, it kept coming. Wait, wait, wait see. But it, it's obviously not. You see, I can use X Pilot now. But if I increase the speed, it seems to be speed related. So if I go faster, suddenly it says take over powertrain error. Uh, I suspect that there's not, nothing wrong with the powertrain. I suspect there's something limitation with, look at that, limitation with sensors. But, and if you go slower, oh man, what the heck? You see, now, now yeah, if you go slow, then it works. With auto steer or X, I don't know, X pilot. But then if you go fast, and then eventually it would just kind of give you a red error, a powertrain error. It's like, it scares the shit out of me. I think, hey, is there something wrong with the car? Well, if I switch, if I switch off uh, all those systems and then I drive normally, you can see that we have power output, everything is normal. Uh, <laughs> like, I thought it was just, I mean, I got the impression it was just a glitch from the 1000 km challenge. Well, uh, apparently not. Oh, uh, shit, I'm getting a little bit worried now uh, because, first of all, it's minus 21 degrees Celsius outside and you see the power limit here. Uh, from time to time, I will start seeing some turtle mode. Sometimes the power limit drops to 10 kilowatt. It goes up and down. We are still 17 kilometers away from the uh, Ionity charger. I think I figured out that the whole uh, powertrain error actually means that we are trying to use uh, adaptive cruise control, but uh, the, the car is asking for too much power and uh, we don't have it. So, yeah, so uh, it's actually, <laughs> this occurs when we have low turn off. In, yeah, it starts bugging me about stuff. Like shit, 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 can we make it to the charger? We are 16 kilometers away. But, but I have 9% battery left. I mean, it should be plenty. It's a freaking 100 kilowatt hour battery. In a Tesla, you know, long range or plaid, 9% is plenty. Here, it, it starts like, the car becomes sluggish. Shit, I don't have any EcoFlow with me. Uh, and if you get stranded in minus 19 degrees Celsius, uh, how far away is help really? Oh shit! 
turtle mode is here. Whoa, 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 what the heck is that? Remaining power. Shit, 50 kilo. It was, it was at 10 kilo. Oh, sh I'm struggling to climb the hill here. We're still 12 kilometers away. We, we, we still have 8% left. What? Huh? What the heck is going on here? The battery must be really cold and it's trying to conserve energy. Oh, good thing I'm, I don't have much traffic behind me. This is, oh, come on, just don't die me. I, okay, I, I don't care if you have to crawl a little bit, but just don't die me, all right? Is, oh, shit, is it gonna do the new crawl? Oh, what the heck, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Are you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, I made it here. Oh, I mean, 5% battery, but... Oh, that was the scariest shit ever. I mean, running out of juice in summer is one thing. Running out of juice in minus 20 is completely different. Okay, I, I need to top up here quickly. I, I want to go to the, the Ionity charger because these ones are kind of expensive, but okay. Ooh, 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 what the, ooh, what, what do we have here? Chem power. <laughs> get over here, get over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's plug it in. All right, we're charging now, getting 56 kilowatts. Um, okay, that's not too fast. It would be interesting to see what the battery temperature is. Hmm, wild guess. 10 degrees Celsius. Maybe even colder. Oh, okay, well, actually, it's ramped up now. Look at that, look at that. 64 kilowatts. I bet the battery heater is active right now. 70 kilowatts. Oh, it ramps up. Okay, okay. All right, we are finally at Ionity. Just a quick top up at the uh, Ken Power over here now. And uh, I preheated uh, on the short way here, but it seems to not help at all. We're taking 75 kilowatt roughly. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take it. Man, we are back in Foldal. Do you guys remember this spot? <laughs> there was the full moon, by the way. Let me zoom in there. Can you see the full moon? There? Oh, oh there's a mirror just here a little bit. Wow, look at that. You can see the moon. The moon is actually quite bright. Okay, but over here, it is minus 27 degrees Celsius. So we came here a little bit late, but okay, we, um, the plan is to camp here maybe two three hours and see what the consumption will be we can kind of see it here already that uh, it pulls eight amp times uh, 388 volts so that's like three kilowatt something for heating right now hmm okay and you can also see here the trip from uh, um, all down to here 13.7 kilowatt hour and then this is distance so I calculated it's uh, roughly 310 watt hour per kilometer. And then you can see here that climate takes 50, okay, actually it goes up now. Yeah, climate control was around 14%. So uh, normally, or earlier from Oslo, it was around 7% climate control. So yeah, uh, it, it is proper cold outside. And then here, if you go under camping comfort, you have different modes. So we're gonna be using camp mode. Yes, so now the, the light turned off and then, uh, for some reason, uh, it, every time you change mode, it defaults to 25 degrees. Okay, we're not gonna have 25 degrees. We're gonna have, but on 21 is good enough. Ooh. <laughs> you know, for some reason, minus 27 degrees doesn't feel that cold. Uh, maybe because uh, 
There's a little wind. Yeah, there's some wind, but not too windy. Uh, Alvdal and also actually around Oslo felt a lot colder because it was slightly stronger wind there. Oof, so I can show you the surroundings again here. Wait, oh, okay, they haven't uh, cleared the snow here, so I, I might not go up on the tower there. Let's see. Yeah, that's the road that leads actually over to Gubbranstal, Rondane, if we keep driving that road. So we are just camped here. Oh, it's a big car, the new ET7. And then, yeah, the snow kind of changes a little bit shape once it's really cold. Oh, oof. okay. So the sun is about to come up in not too long. So I think we should just get inside and try to get a little bit of sleep. Uh, lately, I haven't had much sleep, man. Been doing 1,000 or failed 1,000 kilometer challenge. And now we are here. Right, we're gonna start the camping test at seven. And now we have 429 kilometers of range and 84%. Uh, see, based on this, it's actually almost 85%. But this is actually a more accurate uh, uh, like percent reading so okay now let's see let's try to camp for well at least two hours two or three hours we'll see so unfortunately we cannot fold the back seats in the ET7 so there's no bed available for uh, sleeping there but at least I could just recline here in the seats here that's fine we have the storm by pillow <sighs> okay the storm by beanie just do it like this and then I just use the jacket as a, a blanket that works it's still nice and warm in here and then no I nap we've been camping for three hours now and we have 373 kilometers left yeah uh, so it was uh, 84%, so we spent 11% in three hours. So that's uh, actually uh, over three kilowatt average. What was it again? Check my notes here. Yeah, a little bit over three kilowatts. And okay, right now it's slightly lower because I uh, had to lower the temperature. The sun is shining in here, but wow. Okay, so at least we have a number. We could compare it against Tesla, I guess, but uh, I think Tesla will be in different uh, condition. But here, so now it's only minus 17 degrees. Hmm, okay, but I think I'm done now. I'm gonna head back to uh, Aldal. Oh, yeah, look, I can activate ventilated seats. Oh, let me set it to one. And then, uh, let's see, let's warm up the battery. Okay. No, it was 8 amp, 14 amp now, 15. Hmm, okay, is that, is that 3 kilowatt? And then uh, we will navigate to... Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ionity Ardal, there you go. Have it in the history here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, here it estimates we will have it uh, 296 kilometers of range. Right, we're back in Adar, getting a 37 kilowatt. Whoa, but I've been preheating the battery for about 40 minutes getting here. Well, I mean, we have 63% battery, of course, but still, oof. Seems that the battery heater is kind of weak. It takes forever to heat up the battery. Okay, whatever. Uh, so um, the plan now is just to drive home. Oh, we'll get sun here. Let me try to block the sun here. Okay, so 
The plan is to just go home to Arnabru. And you see, the car figures out that I need one charging stop. All right. Um, I mean, I have 64%, so I could go pretty far. Uh, and here you can tap to set a charging lo uh, location. So now the car chooses for some reason to go to what looks like Hanestad. That is a 50, yeah, I recognize this place. This is Hanestad. It's a 50 kilowatt fast charger. Uh, huh, that's kind of weird. I mean, why did the car choose to go to a 50 kilowatt fast charger when we have over here, we have high power charging, 150 kilowatt or more, I think. Uh, retrieving data uh coop extra well it doesn't say how many kilowatt okay that's kind of weird and then also if i click here on the on the driving wait there, there. look at the driving plan you see that we have to drive uh, four meters get into the road something okay um and then here enter harness that way in. and it doesn't say where i'm supposed to charge but uh, we saw on the map that this is Hanestad, so it's a weird choice to go to a 50 kilowatt fast charger since I can reach a high power charger. Uh, I guess we have to use a bedroom planner then. And you know when I'm outside in the cold weather, I use the storm bag stuff. We have gloves here and then beanie. And the beanie contains merino wool and also some alpaca. So merino wool is known for being softer because that's smaller fiber than the regular sheep wool. Well, the, uh, the regular sheep, I don't know what it's called. But, and also these gloves, very, very warm. You see, it has this inner thing here of acrylic. So it makes it soft on the inside, but then keeps me nice and warm. And then also I use this one, Hufiel down jacket. Also, I handpicked this after trying several of them. I found that this one is really nice and warm. So... Even though when I went outside now, I didn't really freeze that much. So yeah, good. Now, gonna have some food. <sighs> I'm so okay. I don't know. I just went for some kind of beef. Uh, it's called uh, beef kebab. I was like, okay, is it legal to have kebab on a Tuesday? Let's try. Mm. It's hard. Oh. Well, I also have a waffle. And, oh, what? Oh, we're taking 42 kilowatts. Okay, oh, whatever. I don't want to stress. Let's eat and then we go home, right? We are now at Ayontidal. We've been heating up the battery for one hour before arriving here. We're down to 26%. You see, it's still heating up. It's pulling 15 amp. Wait, let me see. If I turn off HVAC, how much will it pull then? Eight amp. Okay, well, usually when the car is on, it's um, uh, one amp. So I guess the, the heat battery heater is pulling seven amp. Hmm. Okay, let's plug in and see how many kilowatt we get. All right, what do we get? What do we get? 80 kilowatt. Huh? That's it? One hour of preheating <laughs> and we get 80 kilowatts. Ah, oh, she.
we are back home now. So that was a nice trip to Follal. I haven't been there in a while. But yeah, so uh, what did I learn from this trip then? Well, I learned that uh, this car seems to not be that well uh, suited for cold weather. Well, actually, you can change it with software update. Tesla had similar problem with, it was the Model 3 Performance. You guys remember, that was like two years ago. It scavenged the heat from the battery so much that we also got some power limit. But it wasn't that bad as this one. But still, uh, Tesla fixed it via software update. And I believe that uh, NIO could also fix this via software update. What they can do is they can allow the battery to heat up somehow. I don't know if they have heat scavenging, if they have some alien technology like Tesla, but at least if they can somehow heat up the battery so it doesn't become too cold, then uh, we can get okay power output also when the battery gets low. Because when they did the range test, I went down to 1% and I didn't see any limp mode, but then the battery was warmer, I drove faster. But here, and also it wasn't that cold. But in this case, yesterday, it was freezing cold. And then it seems like, uh, well, it's not a design flaw. It's more like uh, they didn't think about the, co the, the corner case, maybe. And then as for charging, yeah, it's, I feel like it's kind of cold getting a little bit because uh, even after preheating for one hour, uh, I still don't have hot enough battery to receive at least 100 kilowatt uh, or 140 as advertised. So, yeah, I feel like Neo um, doesn't work that great in in very cold weather, and even around zero degrees Celsius, you can still uh, experience some cold gate. But at least the limp mode uh, shouldn't ex uh, appear in that temperatures. Then we're talking about minus 10, minus 20 degrees, and driving slow-ish. And then, uh, yes, in a couple of days, I'm going to take the same trip with Tesla Model S Plaid. And I think that one is going to do it way, way better because I've already taken that trip um, a couple of years ago with the Model 3 with the heat pump and octavalve. And the Plaid will also do it equally good and even better, I think. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.